Well, good evening, John Finney from Clark West. It is Thursday, the 4th of June, and we're up here again tonight, quarter past six, at Chatfield Reservoir. Given the success we had last week fishing here, and some success that the team Clark West people have been having over on these banks the last couple of nights, we thought we had to get back up here again, see if we could get some more big carp on the bank before the spawn, or at least before they start spawning tonight. And what a wonderful Colorado spring evening it is. The temperatures today were about 80 odd degrees. It's going to drop down to maybe low 60s, high 50s tonight. A little bit of wind, hopefully no rain. You know, and what a great couple of weeks, as I was saying, the Team Cart Quest people have had. Lots of PBs have been set. You know, Steve got his first Colorado 20 pounder. Chuck got a 23 pounder, his PB common. And then Bob caught a monster 27 and a half pound common. What great fishing that was. Mark and Amy have had some good fish out as well. All told, some great fishing. Let's have a look at some pictures of the guys' wonderful captures. amazing fish they truly are i'm sure many more will be caught throughout this summer so myself and andrew we've come back up here again tonight got ourselves all up and got ourselves cast out this time i'm fishing much further to the right down almost into the trees and andrew's set up he's about 15 yards off to my left fishing similar baits as before skullpeck squid on the left down rod that's cast out there about 20 yards with a pop-up in yellow and a Mirai Nam rod, a key cray, 15 mil pop up in yellow. Again, about 15 yards out off the bank, about 20 yards to my right. Now, I am fishing pretty locked up with my iron and rod. There's plenty of snags over there, and I certainly don't want a carp to go plowing into all those trees and branches, especially in the darkness. So I think it's time to sit back. You know, Chatfield has quietened down a little bit. Most of the mayhem has now surpassed, and people have gone home. You can see some paddle boarders just paddling in for the night and it should be a good evening's fishing. So, sitting back, getting out some coffee, pulling up my feet in my nice new comfy NAS indulgence chair. You know, warm myself out these past couple of years fishing. My back gets a bit sore, especially on some long sessions. So I treated myself to a nice new chair for my upcoming birthday. Hopefully, it'll be nice and comfy. Certainly is so far. So, sitting back, watching the old activities going on on the lake and seeing what we can get. Comments. Well, it's back quarter past eight now here at Chatfield and myself and Andrew, we're still fishing away. Sadly, no carpy runs, though we have seen a couple of carp sailing out there from about 40 to 70 yards out from the bank. As it's starting to get a bit dark now, the fish do appear to be moving in and we're hopeful we'll get a run soon. You know, most of the people that were here earlier, they do appear to have left though. Surprisingly, there's still quite a lot of people out there on some kayaks and paddle boards and things. Uh, we're hopeful that they will depart before it gets completely dark. So, more coffee, I think I'll have a sandwich, and look forward to a night's fishing ahead. Conquest. Well, three o'clock, yes, three o'clock here in the morning at Chatfield and what a long night's fishing it has been, you know. No accident whatsoever, no runs, we've only seen a couple of fish. Really strange after last week's 20 odd fish that we caught. Anyway, we finally got one on the bank. A run out of nowhere, I was almost nodding off in my chair. And we've got this little guy on the other end. Look at that. A Chatfield beauty, fin up, and what an angry fist. This put up a nine hour waiting for a bite battle with Andrew's encouragement of don't lose the fist for the hole playing it in. Anyway, this one, 30 inches, about 14 pound, fell to a yellow, 
Scopex squid pop up. I'm a happy man. I'm surprised it's not a blank. Anyway, let me get this one back. Cast it back out and maybe we'll get one or two more on the bank before we call it a day. Conquest. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold my. Yep. This is piss. Well, almost half past four here at Chaffield, and we've got another one. This time on a cultured Skullpex pop up. My first car on a cultured pop up. This guy, a little bit better than the last one. Look at that. Fatter, but shorter. 29 and a half inches, but 15 pounds. What a cute little fatty. Let's get him back. About six o'clock now here at Chatfield, and we're still fishing away. You know, it's dawn has passed, and we've seen literally hundreds of carp out of the surface, about 60 to 100 yards out. Towels out, rolling, having a fine old time. So it looks like there's plenty of fish here overnight, but we're fishing probably way too sore. And the fish were obviously a lot further out. I've probably got about an hour left, and we'll see if we can get one or two last mercy carp on the bank before we call it quits. You know, so far I've still got my two, and Andrew, he's yet to even have a run. What an absolutely torturous night for the poor guy. Anyway, carrying on fishing, I think I'll have some breakfast coffee, see what we can get. And there we have my third fish of the day. Battered that one, probably from spawning, certainly been in the wars. Probably 28, 29 inches, and again about that 14 pound range. Well, it's all go here. I was just getting that bit of video of my fist. Andrew gets his first run of the night and nets his fist. And he's extremely happy. Saved from the blank. Let's see what he's got. Oh. Well, there we go. Andrew saved by the bell and this wonderful, about 28, 29 inch common, maybe about 12 pounds yeah, or so. Pounds. Well done, good job Andrew. That was hard work. That was hard work, he waited 12 hours for that fish, well done man. Good job. <laughs> well there we go, almost quarter seven here at Chatfield and Andrew, he's not done. Decides to go ahead and catch himself a beautiful mirror carp. 30 inches, 13 and a half, pounds he's extremely happy he's a man who loves his mirrors <laughs> well done andrew good fish oh. happy man thank you well seven o'clock now at chat food i was just about to take me robbed out i don't have a blistering run and this hard fighting male on the other end this guy fell to a white sculpex 15 mil pop-up yes fish number four you know, I think I'm going to call it quits, call it a good day's fishing, pack up and head on home. You know, it's been a good day's fishing here at Chatfield. You know, for myself and Andrew overall, we caught, what, six fish between us. You know, that beautiful mirror for Andrew. You know, four commons for me. It was a bit of a slow night, but at least we ended well this morning. Anyway, for now, you all have a great day from Carpoise.